Smile to Genya. <laughs> We know in January Katie Hopkins joined Rebel Media which is a very far right YouTube channel. Its founder is Ezra Levant who is Jewish and what he tends to do with his members he takes them to Israel to have a little look around to get a bit of their funding. There's always been speculation as to the connection of the far right and Israel funding them. I notice you're wearing a, a shirt or a, a button that says I'm a Zionist. What does a Zionist mean to you? Uh, what is a Zionist? Well a Zionist is someone believes in a homeland for Jewish people. I like Jews. I just returned from the east from Israel, funded by contributors to Rebel Media. That was a serious systematic hugely funded effort by a section of the ruling elite by this Zionist neocon clique to dominate, to simply take over nationalism we were offered money from the United States and all they wanted was two things. We had to concentrate on talking about Muslims and we had to drop our criticism of the international banking system. All right, so here Katie Hopkins makes a visit to Israel. She's addressing the crowd. This is by far one of the most cringiest 20 minutes I've ever seen. Now as she starts off, of course, she's got to crack a few jokes. Muslim mayor Sadiq Khan, she starts calling him nipple height. All right, a safe joke, she's gonna open with that. And I am not a short girl, but he is nipple height. Nipple height. Poof, tough crowd. Didn't get a laugh, repeated it, still dead. Maybe she might be able to recover from it. Let's see what she does. Nipple height is not a height you want to be. Oof, you hate to see that mate, mega cringe. Didn't go too well, she doesn't give up hope, she goes for another joke. Let's hear it mate. If a guy's got a hat on or long hair, don't go rubbing your groin on him. Oh my, she's gone for the sex joke. That's by far the easiest joke, it's guaranteed to get a laugh. Let's see what happens. I wasn't planning on doing that either. But anyway. Ah oh man. She had to use but anyway card just to maintain the little bit of self-respect that she's got left. Oh my. All right now she's gonna start talking about a radio show. <laughs> Bless her. She looks so happy but listen to that one voice in the crowd. That guy is absolutely brutal. I used to have a radio show on LBC, a talk show. show. You would have thought at least this crowd appreciates LBC. Now she's gonna get into a jihadi routine which of course is an element. Now surely nothing can go wrong mate. That's how we treat jihadis in the UK but it had me wondering you know. Great Tommy. Well, well that too. Did she just get heckled by a Tommy Robinson fan? Katie Hopkins in different ways to suck up to Israel. Volume 1. Number 1. Make sure you tell him they have your support and the support of a misogynistic, megalomaniacal, racist and Islamophobic president that many people think has some sort of psychological disorder. You guys so much support for that embassy move and so much support for what Trump has done. Number 2. Make sure you big up the landscape. It's a very beautiful place to be and I can say it's utterly thrilling. To yeah that's good but you haven't used the word Israeli in there. Go use that a couple more times, go on. So truly Israeli homes, yeah, Israeli that's university yeah, and an that's Israeli it. place good, is lad. really the heart of everything you're about. Number three, suck up to the president even if he's responsible for a lot of these war crimes. And I said I love Benjamin Netanyahu, if only we had the same policies as Bibi. If you launch a rocket at my house, I not only will blow up your house, I will blow up the houses of your family and your friends too and that's what we need. Whoa, are people actually clapping this? I don't think I have a response to that, that's, that's quite sick actually. Number four, really express your desire to be Jewish and keep smiling. Go. So I'm hopeful to become oh, Jewish. Right. Number five, despite fighting for your own country, call it your home because everybody loves their home. <laughs> so I'm so thrilled to be here in Israel. I feel like it's kind of my natural home and that I've actually been Whoa, here before. Whoa, breathe woman, breathe. It's my ambition to be Damn. Jewish. 
Number six, put your own home country down. Yeah, pick a group of people and use them as a scapegoat. And there's some very ugly women where I come from. Why did the camera go blurry when she said that? Number seven, a jihadi joke because hey, why not? Returning jihadi. Like your job was to go and blow yourself the hell up. And so what you are actually is a failure. Yeah, Katie, I think you missed the point, mate. Yeah, if a jihadis come back, that's a good thing because people haven't died. And also there's a difference between a jihadi, someone who's fighting and a suicide bomber. Two totally different concepts, Katie, yeah? <laughs> Number eight, stick a misplaced sex joke in there, which your audience just does not agree with, mate. About jihadis and jihadi families, they don't allow their boys to study biology or girls bits at school because it's rude. Despite the fact that she wants to be Jewish, I don't think she properly realizes that they also believe the same thing. Maybe do a bit of research next time and stop fixating on nipples, yeah? Nipple heights! Number nine, find any excuse to put the opposition down. Venezuela, you know, they're eating their own cats and somehow they make Israel the issue. I didn't even know that was a thing. If you're eating cats, then you can't speak against the atrocities of the Israeli government. When, when did they decide that? I mean, I didn't get that memo. I think I was probably out with my mate. He's Nippolite. Nippolite. And number 10, go in with some solid facts. And the victim of the UNHCR, HRC, HRC, for too long. That was absolutely beautiful mate. She got it wrong, she went a bit cross-eyed and then she managed to get the answer from that. Pff, I don't know how she managed to do it. All right guys, that's enough from the wisdom of Katie Hopkins. Until next time guys, Asalaamu As Alaikum.